Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to insert automatic serial number in Excel. So you can see here that I have a very simple list of daily sales data and now what I really want to do is to insert a serial number next to each and every data row. For example, I want the first row to be labeled as row number one and then the second row to be number two and so on and so forth. Now, whenever we want to insert a serial number, what we usually do is that we could uh, put in uh, the first two numbers, highlight this, and then double click, and it will be auto filled down until the very end. Now, this works until the table grows or more data are being added or deleted. For example, if I want to insert a new row, then I will need to update the serial number again. All right, now uh, another thing is that if we delete a row in the data, the table does not get automatically updated. So anytime the table changes, we would need to redo the serial number. And if you're working with a very long set of data, that could be quite time consuming as well. All right, so now let's learn how to set it up automatic serial number in Excel using the row function. To insert the row function in Excel, we would need to press equal sign and this will tell Excel that we are going to enter a formula. Now our formula is row, so type row and then press tab. Now in the reference area, then we will need to specify the row, the current row. So this could be A4, okay. Now, and then hit enter, but if we do that, then it, the, our serial number will start at four instead of one and we want it to start at one. All right, so don't worry, just click on the formula and then subtract three. Okay, and it will start at one. Now, double click to autofill the formula down, and there you go. All right, so now let's try to test if it is working properly. So I'm going to delete row number six. Okay, delete. And you can see that the serial number gets automatically updated. Let's test it again, and this time I'm going to delete the serial number 10. So this row here, okay, delete. And then look what happens. The serial number will be automatically updated without us having to do anything. And that's it. We have the best of both worlds without any messy manual adjustment. So I hope you found this video useful. That's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.